Here we go. It's a time to uh, do another part of the Sonic Unleashed with the third uh, nighttime level of Eggman Land beyond the factory. And I will uh, stop doing my stupid Super Mario impersonation in a three, a two, a one. That was not even a Mario impression. That was just terrible. Uh, I'm so sorry to that. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the third level of Eggman Land Beyond the Factory. Anyway, um, got some interesting enemies here. What's odd is that they. What? <laughs> eh, that's funny. How could I mess up that badly? You know, what's odd is that the enemy encounter music, like da 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 da, isn't playing here, and I hate hornet at these hornet enemies. Uh, I don't know what their official names are. I probably never will. But what the heck was that? That was embarrassing. But anyway, uh, we got these things. Um, what they have in mind is they want you to jump backwards from them. It really took me a while to figure this out. Wait. I found what you have to do is you have to, if your GameCube controller, you have to hold down and then jump. It's odd, but it might just be jump regular without, like, doing anything, but who knows. And I failed. Let's try that again. And I bet I'm gonna die. I think I remember dying, I'm not sure. If it's not my stupidity that will kill me, it's just everything else. And... What am I? Oh, so I apparently chicken now. <laughs> well, whatever. A lot of this level is like jumping and swinging and pole jumping and stuff. And, um, you get a hidden path here. We got some dark eye energy. And, and fail. That was embarrassing. This part's kind of odd and hard to figure out. But what I'm doing is the best strategy. Oh, I do think I died a few times in the process. And I actually made it. I got a feeling here's where I die. My feeling was wrong. And. And, yep, I was right. Let's keep going. And no, not down there, up there. I think I can tell the difference between down there and up there. Can't, well, it should be Sonic who can tell the difference there. But anyway, and whoa, no, 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 no. That was also embarrassing. I'm losing lives left and right here. How about we don't do that? actually succeed. That would be nice. Now we ride these guy things. Guy uh I'm gonna make a bad pun out of Gaia and Guy. Guy these dark guy these guy dark guy uh spawns. Yeah. Guy, uh, dark guy, uh, spawns. Because <laughs> that totally makes sense, and it totally isn't a bad pun at all. I really can't help myself with bad puns. I don't know why. I, mean, I know they're terrible, but I still make them. I don't know. But, you know.
and <laughs> I always like doing this, but how am I missing him? I like hit him like squ square on, and uh, those enemies are very annoying. Now, that was awesome. I'm gonna finish you off with a box. Apparently, I'm not gonna finish you off with a box. I am gonna beat you off with a box! <laughs> I don't know what was up with me there, but then again, I don't know. And did I miss something? Because I get the feeling that I missed something up there. But anyway. Um, yeah, that's nothing. You can't go that way. And boom. Yeah. Yeah, break those boxes open, Sonic. You can't do this, Sonic. Like, I'll, uh, shadow from Sonic Generations. And speaking of that, uh, I know some people might disagree with myths, me on this. I hated Shadow's voice in Sonic Generations. I thought Silver's voice was okay, but, I don't know, that's because, really, after, um, after the four kids cast of voice actors from in the, in the three Sonic games left, their voices kind of left. And I got so used to Shadow's voice. Then I really liked it. It was like, who was I before this? You know, and like, so I believe the four kids have started out each with a Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, and there's nothing there. I even have that. And a lot of people don't like the four kids cast. They're okay. Tails' voice I did not like. Amy's voice I did not like, but uh Silver's voice and yeah, it's alright. Um, uh I don't know. But I like Shadow's voice from the Four Kids cast. Oh, and if you wonder why they're called the Four Kids cast, that's because um those voice actors were who did the voice acting of the animated series Sonic X, which was going around the same time. And I guess it was on the 4Kids channel. So, 4Kids voice actors. But anyway, level 4 of Eggman Land Night Stage to 0 point. Uh, to my knowledge, this is uh, not very long. But I'm probably thinking of the other stage. The last stage isn't that long. But judging by the length of the video, it's gonna be... I don't know. Judging by the length of the video I see, maybe 9 minutes. Because I do post commentary, and I can see exactly how long the video is. But yeah. And I gotta get on the... No. <laughs> so what am I gonna talk about? I had a pretty bad Mario impression at the beginning of the video. I wanna try to make the one that's actually not bad. hidden item. Not really hidden, but with the camera and all that. Yeah, it is hidden. So how about that Mario impression? Let's give it a shot. Because I can do a pretty good Mario impression if I wanted to. Um, so let's get started. Hello, Dad! It's me, Mario! I'm a, I'm a Luigi, number one! And all of a sudden, I'm doing a Luigi impression. No. Hey, hey, I love Luigi. He's awesome. And that's why it's the year of Luigi, of course. But really, Luigi has only had two solo games. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and New Super Luigi U. Every other game was either he was with Mario, a la Mario Luigi Dream Team, 
or is just a spin-off party game, a la Mario Party 3DS and Mario Golf World Tour. And, uh, yeah, so we got this thing to do. What am I going to call these things today? It's probably the final time we'll be seeing these things, but it might not. So, I shall dub them this time. This has to be a cool name. I got it. I got the perfect name. Circles of Power Spiky Energy Ness E Thing E Stuff. That's way too long of a name. So I'm just calling them Circles of Energy Dark Power Gaia. Circles of Dark Gaia Energy, yeah. Circles of Dark Gaia Energy, I like that. A name. Yes. Circles of Dark Gaia Energy. A name. Ten seconds in the making. And ah! <laughs> anyway. You know. Yeah. The circles of Dark Eye Power are kind of well hidden, I believe. If I remember. And, you know what? Who needs those things? So, hold down and jump. It might just be regular jump, but I always felt comfortable. Yeah. And here's the first circle of Dark Eye Energy. And yes, my instincts were right. There's something there. And I always forget to what to do with this part. There should be another circle of Dark Eye Energy this way. I can't fully remember. Uh, might be. Right. Yes! And down there is nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was totally a smart move. That wasn't dumb at all. And that token wasn't dumb at all either. Now that was the smartest thing ever. So I want to consider yourself a genius for that. And. And I forgot to hold down the X button. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm real smart today. Or, not today, uh, when I record this. Like, a few weeks ago. So I was real smart. I entered the zone all those weeks ago. And. Okay, seriously. This is getting old. We need to start succeeding. Eh. I don't even think there's a Dark Gaia circle. Circle of Dark Gaia energy back here. No, it's just a hidden item. Oh yeah, what really stinks is you gotta hold the the uh, controls in a specific direction when you're like doing this sidling thing diagonally. It has to be like very. It's very precise and annoying. But anyway, now that we finally got that after like three or four lives lost, we can continue on. And yay! Conveniently placed thing, enemy, person, whatnot, dark guy stuff. And there's the final circle of dark guy energy. Yay! So let's open that gate up and go through. But wait, what about the enemy encounter? There's probably gonna be one here, right? No? Ah, oh, what a letdown. I bet there's gonna be one here, right? Yep, just like the first level, we got this thing. Only, you fall down off the edges. Was that? Could you do that in the first level? I don't know. And don't attack the enemy and electricity either. And this get this guy's And also, um to my knowledge, I think this actually might be the last Sonic game where enemies have health bars. So some trivia there. Because the first Sonic game to feature health bars was Sonic Heroes. And, um. 
Uh, I guess not a whole lot of people like that. So, uh, uh, yeah, this is really the last game we're seeing that in. It's not even in the daytime levels, it's the nighttime levels. And, like, a lot of times in Sonic 06, when you had to do combat, it took forever. And that's one of the reasons why it's, like, a boring to watch. Honestly, although I haven't played Sonic 06, I will say one thing. I've seen a lot of people playing it, and it honestly does not look very fun to play. Not because of, like, glitches or whatnot. I think it doesn't look very fun to play, because overall, it just looks boring. Like, it, look, it gets really repetitive looks a bit. And honestly, those glitches, a lot of people say glitches are like ruin it. I personally think it's rather just gameplay the most important. Whatever. And yay, we're done. So yeah, that's awesome, I guess. Yay! Only Trout, level 5. So, I will see you guys next time when we take on the final, the fifth and final Werehog level of Eggman Land. It is too cool to be called level 5, Act 5. It is called the bottom level instead of, see, Again, bottom level, the Dark Gaia Cult. Next time, we're going to take on the Dark Gaia Cult.